In this video, we're going to be looking at some noble gas shorthand problems. Now these correlate with electron configurations, but it's just helpful when you get to those higher shells that you're able to write something shorthand so you're not writing 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and then it begins to be like a 20 letter electron configuration. So for this one, you're going to have to pay attention to the noble gas row. Now this is that row all the way on the right side of the periodic table and since they contain a full 8 valence electrons and start a new s orbital, a new shell, these will be easy to write out for those larger atoms since there's a good starting place all the way on that right. So for the noble gas shorthand for iodine, we're going to be looking at krypton. Krypton is right here, and that's going to start our noble gas shorthand. So to abbreviate the electron configuration for krypton, we're going to write it as CR in brackets to say that we've written the electron configuration all the way up to krypton. So it would end in that 4p orbital. So iodine is number 53 on the periodic table. It is located in this fifth electron of the 5p orbital and to start writing this we're gonna look at the next shell that goes after krypton. So that would be this 5s shell since krypton is located right here on the periodic table. So, the next thing you're going to write is since that iodine fills the full 5s orbital, you're going to write that as 5s2. Now, this is the part where people get the noble gas shorthand wrong, is because you think that right after it goes to the 5p, since we're in the fifth shell and we wrote shorthand, we forget that there's this four d10 orbital that is fully filled by iodine right next to it and remember we're also reading left to right so it's good to know that you still need to add that d orbital in there even if it doesn't show it because krypton cut off adding that d orbital so next you would write for d10 since it's fully filled and as i said since iodine is in the fifth electron of this p orbital, then it's going to be written as 5p5. So the next question asks to write the noble gas shorthand for calcium. Calcium is slightly easier since you don't have to worry about looking at that transition metal d orbital. It's just in this 4s orbital before you get to the d. And that's also something good to know is that if you always end at the second electron of the s orbitals, you do not have to write or remember to write any of the transition metal d orbitals. So the noble gas before calcium is argon. Argon is okay right here on both tables. And so again, to show that you have written in a condensed form argon you're going to write brackets ar and then since it just fills the 4s orbital in the shell in the fourth shell then you're just writing that as 4s2 now again just to get in your mind valence electrons since the highest shell in iodine is the fifth shell. You're going to be looking at the 5s, 5p. And since there's two electrons in the s shell and five in the p, then there's going to be seven valence electrons in iodine. And then in calcium, since there's only one thing written this 4s, there's going to be two valence electrons in calcium.